Heterochromia iridium derives from the old Greek word heteros, which means different, and chromas, which means color. There are so many different types of heterochromia. A lot of people think it's just the eyes, but in actual reality, it can be your skin pigmentation, or your hair it can be different colors. It's cool to have it, because I used to hate it when I was younger. I used to get made fun of for it a lot. Being in the modeling world and kind of going through life in this industry, I realized that this sets me apart, although a lot of people don't like it, and a lot of people don't like that I enhance it. I think that it's beautiful. So this model already has been exposed three years ago. For some people, it might be even old news. It's definitely old news for me. I've known about this fraudster since two years ago. Breath. Breath. Bruh. Up until 2017, she always wore different types of blue contact lenses in her left eye to achieve this look. So let me show you some examples. So here you can very obviously see the brown color of her natural eyes behind this Asian circle lens. These ones are Zolotica contact lenses and this one looks like bad Photoshop. It goes from a very natural looking blue to a very icy grayish looking blue, then back to neon blue <laughs> so it's a lot of different types of lenses. In July of 2017 Sarah went to India and got a blue artificial lens implanted in her eye by the company Bright Ocular. This particular contact lens implant surgery is illegal and banned all across America and Europe. The several reasons why it's illegal in those countries I will discuss later. Having contact lenses constantly on your eye leaves your eyes very dry and sometimes even irritated. And it's always so easy to tell if someone is wearing colored contact lenses, especially when you see the person in real life, because you know you can see the rim around the lens and everything. So when you implant an artificial iris over your iris, it looks more realistic. Let me demonstrate. So this is usually how contact lenses are worn over the eye. It's always very obvious because you can see the rim, there's no depth or anything. But when you have the surgery, they cut open this part and squeeze the implant over your iris and as you can see, it has more depth, dimension, it looks more realistic. But this procedure is very dangerous, many people have gone blind, it's extremely costly and it still kind of looks fake. Even though it looks more realistic than, you know, contact lenses, there's something about these implants that kind of looks so artificial. I don't know if it's the color or the bad pattern or the fact that you can still see the original color around the black pupil. I don't know. Anyways. When did you first realize your eyes were different from everyone else's? Probably elementary school. People started asking me if they were contacts or if they were fake and it didn't make me feel good at first. I felt like I had to explain myself a lot. I wanted to just be normal and not answer those questions every day. <laughs> oh my god, this is too good. Editor's note. After publishing the story, we received many comments that McDaniel's claim of being born with heterochromia iridium may be false. We reached out to McDaniel's representative who vehemently denied that her client has misrepresented her Herself at any time and maintains that McDaniel was born with the condition. Wow! Were you ever bullied because of your eyes? I get this question a lot and I think it was more so a lot of other things going on with my body. I was kind of overweight, my teeth were not so straight. I was born I was... with glass bones and paper skin. Every morning I break my legs and every afternoon I break my arms. When did you start to embrace your different colored eyes? Once I started to model, that's when I realized it wasn't something I should hide. <laughs> I think social media was ultimately the thing that pushed me into embracing it. There are a lot of people on Instagram now embracing their different bodies. It's really beautiful. Oh my god, this is too good. Good! What the fuck? It's amazing how blatantly she can lie. There's a huge amount of people who are already so fed up with her lies that even her own dad and her sister exposed her on social media for faking this condition. My daughter Sarah McDaniel with her real brown eyes. This is what her sister posted. This was a while ago. You have something called Heterochromia iridum, is yeah. that what it is? Yes. And if we can get a close up of the young lady's eyes right here, Jim, take a look at her eyes. You can see the brown underneath the contact lens. <laughs> one is blue and one, let me see. 
and one is green. Yeah. But like well, br I brilliantly see. blue, and one is one, and one is a hazel. Yes. When you were like a little girl, did you like it, or did you think I want to be like everybody else? I didn't like it at all. No. I still, at times, it's very annoying because I get asked a lot, like, is it fake? And everyone else, everyone's always like, that's the only thing everyone. That's what I just asked you. It. I just asked you. Yeah. If it was fake. But yeah, exactly. Everyone. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing everyone notice. Everyone mm -hmm. notices. I wish they would pay attention to other things about me rather than just that one thing. Oh fuck! I cringe. I cringe to the max when I watch this. Why you lie about your eyes? I mean, you are pretty. Why you do this for fame? What's the point, you negative asshole? I'm busy making money. <laughs> She is the definition of a basic white chick trying so hard to be unique and different. She has to fake a fucking condition. Faking an actual condition. People really be doing anything to stand out. What's next? Faking albinism to be the next albino model? I really have with Telugu, guys. It was so hard growing up with this condition. <coughs> I get why Sarah wants it. Heterochromia is indeed really beautiful, if it's real. Let's look at some people who actually have that condition. What's interesting is that if you look at those eyes, you can see that a lot of people have like speckle of different colors in both eyes. Like I rarely found people with two completely fully different colored eyes. I mean, I did find some, but you know, the majority had like a mishmash of colors in both eyes. So yeah, I thought that was really interesting. I love Jane Seymour's eyes. Her colors are so interesting. Henry Cavill has a super subtle heterochromia. It's a little bit more obvious on this guy. Super beautiful. I never knew that Mila Kunis had heterochromia too. Same with Alice Eve. Wow. Having the desire of having brighter eyes or just different looking eyes, I mean, I totally get it. A lot of people know that Sarah faked her condition and got an implant by Bright Ocular. If you take a look at her Instagram comments, you can see how people were discussing on getting an implant as well. When I saw that her followers are literally being influenced by her getting that bright ocular procedure, I was like, okay, I gotta make a video about this because my video is not really about exposing Sarah McDaniel. It's more about exposing the company Bright Ocular. Eyes gray. I like it a lot more than my natural brown eyes, which is very typical. I'm ready for the surgery. After the operation, I was very lucky and happy. I'm so glad. I came to New Delhi, India for a bright ocular surgery. So these were all paid promotional videos from the channel Bright Ocular. So the reason why that surgery is banned almost all over the world is because it's highly dangerous. It's a very new procedure, so there are no long-term studies on how these implants could affect your eyes. But what we do know, according to eye doctors, is that there is a high chance of getting glaucoma or getting blind or even losing your entire eye. There are those who are looking for a permanent change, looking to procedures that might not only result in vision loss, but actually losing the eye. It doesn't sound like a very good idea. The procedure is not approved by the FDA and and involves placing a colored silicone implant in front of the iris. The problem is that that's a location that no contact should be placed there. And just the fact that it's sitting in top of the regular colored part of the iris is chafing all the time. Dr. Stark says that chafing causes pieces of the iris to float inside the eye and they get clogged up, producing severe glaucoma. This is potentially blinding procedure as well. This is a bright ocular patient who has heterochromia. She did not like it, so she wanted to change that by getting those bright ocular lenses in both of her eyes implanted. You can find this testimonial where she talks very positively about the procedure and her experience on the bright ocular channel. And although she seems happy and satisfied in that video, she recently got them removed. I am recording this video because I want people to know of the dangers of bright ocular. I did this procedure four years ago with a doctor named Guillermo Chapa in Monterrey, Mexico. 
Any doctor who is doing this is doing you harm. They are not on your side. They are going to be contributing to ruining your eyes and your eyesight. Bright Ocular is the devil. They don't care about you. I don't even know who owns the company. I don't know who runs it. I mean, it's crazy. I've never seen a face behind Bright Ocular other than what they post online. I did a testimonial for them, which I was paid for. If you have these implants in your eyes, please get them out today. Call your ophthalmologist and get them out. In a couple of personal videos, this patient describes her experience with bright ocular. The first year after surgery, she had no problems. Second year, a constant redness in the eye appeared. After three and a half years, she started to get very weird headaches. This was a headache I'd never experienced ever before in my life. So it was like I had electricity running up and down my skull. So just right in this area, accompanied with ice cold feeling. So like someone literally had an ice pack on top of my head these headaches started to get worse and worse and worse and it got so bad that i went to a neurologist had a brain mri because i was convinced i had a tumor so she said that these headaches started from september of 2017 and may of 2018 she finally went to the ophthalmologist for an annual eye checkup and this is what happened he could see that the implant was pulling on my iris and he was very very concerned about that and he said i'm gonna have to prescribe you with a medication to control glaucoma otherwise you will go blind and if you don't get these taken out like this is an emergency or you will go blind so schedule the surgery had them explanted and my damage is permanent as you can see severe 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 damage my right eye was completely blue now it looks almost all black because the pupil goes in towards my nose and it looks like a black sharpie marker drew in to take out all the color of that beautiful blue eye and my left eye that had the bl uh, brown and blue completely distorted disfigured you can see the pupil is oval shaped it does not constrict with light it just looks black now you can't see these beautiful blue segments I had in the brown. So of course I'd give anything to have my old eyes back, but I can't get them back. And I cry almost every single day because of this decision. My eyes are not normal appearing anymore and my pupils don't constrict in light. Therefore, I have severe photophobia, I have severe glare, and it's a huge problem. So if you don't know what photosensitivity or Hello Sinclair are, I'm just gonna show you the short clips where she explains it. So that means your pupils are permanently dilated, meaning I have extreme photophobia. Photophobia is light sensitivity. And I have halos and glare. So halos are the bright circular lights you're seeing around any light source really. And it affects me so much at this point, I am unable to drive at night. So extreme, I cannot even go outside for one minute without sunglasses on, otherwise my eyes tear and burn. I feel really bad for her. And the fact that she wanted to change her heterochromia makes me actually really sad. This is another customer of Bright Ocular and she got these implants two years ago. And as you can see here, she already explanted one lens out. This one, I got it out like two weeks ago because the implants, they've been rubbing my iris and my iris is really thin. My eyes, they used to be like hazel, bluish, kind of like, they had a lot of beautiful colors. Anyway, because it, it's been rubbing a lot in my eye, this one. It took the color out. I lost 50% on my sight, on this eye. I cannot really see. And it's not coming back, my sight. She already lost 50% of her sight on one eye. And if that isn't bad enough, look what she says next. And another thing is my insurance is not covering it because it, this is cosmetic surgery. You have no idea how many thousands of dollars I got to pay for this eye. They will see for this eye and then glaucoma surgery, maybe the corneas, medication, probably for the rest of my life. She later on says that the people from Bright Ocular probably know that the patients go blind, get glaucoma, severe redness, etc. But they just do it anyway because, you know, it's a business. What they do is just take the money. It's a business, like any other business. They take your money. Do they care about your health? No, they don't. 
So in her next video, she got the other one taken out and this is what the doctors found behind the artificial lens. So this one was my, well it is, my left eye. When they took the implant out, it fused my cornea together and my color and everything. They're fused together in the form and this part is dead, completely dead. Same with this eye, this part is dead here, I wish you can see it. This one is fused together and it took half of my corneas, half of everything. They're deformed and my pupils are like this big. They won't dilate because they're dead. So they stay like this. Later, she explains how severe her photophobia and glare is. She can't even put proper makeup on herself because she can't really, you know, see. She even says that her husband's face doesn't look like before anymore since all faces just look blurry to her now. It's actually really sad. Before we go on to her most recent vlog, I want to remind you how you can see that there is still color around the dead pupil. She has not gone completely blind but she lost, you know, she lost a significant amount of her sight but you know, you can still see color around the dead pupil. In the next video, both of her eyes turned completely black. I'm losing my sight as we speak. I'm gonna go blind. Anyways, don't do bright ocular, please, please. I feel honestly so bad for these victims. So this is actually her eye doctor and he like many other professional doctors is telling the viewers here why these procedures are so illegal and dangerous. It was deemed by the American Glaucoma Society and the American Academy of Ophthalmology that these iris implants were so dangerous that they actually made it illegal to actually implant these in the United States, whether it was cosmetic, patients were paying cash. And we have tried to reach out to government agencies in other countries, especially where these are popular, especially down in Latin and South America, to pleading with their governments to make these the same status, to make them completely illegal because they are so dangerous and cause so many problems. Any doctor that tries to talk a patient into having this procedure done actually is not only unethical, they are immoral. All they want is your money. They want your money and they are not thinking about your safety. They're kind of taking advantage of this whole idea that patients with brown eyes want lighter colored eyes and you know there's I, I'm not going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. That just is what it is. I don't want to sound like a broken record here but there are so many videos on bright ocular horror stories, doctors on TV advising everyone to avoid that kind of medical tourism. This man changed his eyes from brown to blue but obviously he had to take them out since he was getting blind. He's currently blind in one eye. So I'm gonna leave all the videos regarding bright ocular in the description below. You guys should definitely check it out. Tell other people about the dangers of this procedure. More people should definitely know about this. And I'm honestly baffled how this company is still not being sued yet. So at this point of the video, you can click X because I'm gonna go back to Sarah for a bit. I just wanna talk about some other shady stuff she did. I mean, it's very nitpicky, so it's not really that serious. So you can just click X. I think it was beginning of 2016 or maybe even 2015 where she wasn't as big as she is right now. She often would literally steal other people's photography and pretend they are hers. I mean, it's not the worst thing that someone can do, but it's still kind of slimy. And another thing is that she tries so hard to appear intellectual and nerdy. And I love how she calls herself an investigative journalist when all she does is reading off Wikipedia entries or plagiarizing other authors or journalists' work without crediting them. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Zombies don't exist, right? Wrong. Cryptococcus is a genus of fungus that are known for taking hold of living animals, what? sending spores into Whoa. the brain and overtaking Wait, the mind of their host. Really? Brain function then ceases like, in the mind of the host. The fungus is taking the command right of the body now. and will make it think what it wants Tell it to think. More, Many Sarah. medical authorities Tell understand that death does not only occur when the heart stops beating. Brain death is just as- I definitely have not heard about this before. Like, ever. Ever. Investigative journalism. 
I love investigating Wikipedia too. It's so painfully obvious how she keeps looking at the script like it really feels like she has no idea what she's actually talking about. That look at the script! <laughs> Being enthusiastic about science and nature, constantly copy-pasting science entries onto her Instagram photos, one might think she must be so smart and eloquent in real life. You're an Instagram star, right? That's how you, you came well, to fame. I mean, yeah, how much, whatever you can get from Instagram, I guess. Well, you have hundreds of thousands of followers on Instagram, and that's why this came to you? Um, yeah, well, I knew the photographer before, and then he kind of liked me and pushed me into that. How was this sold to you? Like, honestly, you guys know English is not my first language, but goddamn, even I have to cringe at how bad she is at articulating herself. Is there a secret to a great selfie? Um, I think there is. Do you want me to show you? Yeah, yeah, I'd love yeah, it. Yeah, I'll show yeah, you yeah. right now. Okay. All right. <laughs> I got one right here. Okay. Oh, you got one too. I got one too. They right. gave me Break one. Break it out. Okay. No, you do yours and I'll do Oh, mine. we're going to do, do two at the same we'll, time? Well, yeah, well, because they're selfies. They're not. <laughs> Can I get you some duct tape? <laughs> or a poncho. <laughs> so show me how you do your thing. Okay. Let me get it. Right? You got to. Get in All right, where's your angle at first? What do you mean, what's my angle? What's your angle? What do you mean, my angle? When you see, when you see yourself, are you like, this is good, this is not so much? Sorry, this is the side. You're gonna do this one? All right. This is the side, actually. All right, let's go. Make sure. I mean, I kind of feel bad for her because obviously she's not feeling comfortable. Her dress was a major wardrobe malfunction. This interview was from 2016, so she still had to use one contact lens to, you know, fake her condition. Stephen Colbert probably already knew the moment he looked at her that it was a lens. I mean, I would be choking on my words too if I was her, but anyway, that's enough. Let me know what you guys think. Did you know about her? Did you know about Bright Ocular? Um, I would love to read your comments on that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye!